everyone, Kyra here, and these are the books that I read in September. <laughs> so um, I started off September reading The Umbrella Academy, having seen seasons one and two. Pretty much immediately after season two, I bought all three of the graphic novels. Uh, so I read both of those and they were fantastic. I'm not a huge reader of comics in general. I haven't really read comics since high school. This was very different for me and I, I really enjoyed it. I stopped after the second one not wanting to give myself spoilers for season three. Comics have been quite different to the actual TV series from what I can tell. Um, the characterization is a little bit different. The plot is follows a similar vein but focuses on different things, so uh, certain things that were quite important in the TV series or like really played up were quite understated in these and vice versa. So while I don't think that I would necessarily give myself huge spoilers for the third season by reading the third collection of comics, I, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I wanted to keep them a little bit separate. So um, I read both of those and loved them. After that I read Dirt Circus League by Marie Kimberley. This was kindly sent to me by Text Publishing. Thank you, Text. This is a new young adult novel set in Australia and written by, um, I think she's from Brisbane. I think she's a Brisbane author. Uh, yep. It's about a young woman who has moved to the Australian outback small town to live with her dad after having a bit of trouble. Um, we aren't really told what that is, but we get a sense that she's been, um, you know, she has had some trauma in her life, that she's maybe had a bit of a violent past, and that she's now living with her, I guess, estranged father. And she falls into contact with the Dirt Circus League, who are a band of misfit outlaws who are living in the bush and they come into town basically have horrible reputations with the townspeople uh, she falls in with them and what ensues is her uncovering the the secrets and history of this um, cult like group of people who live in the outback and have um, these really uh, nature-based spiritual beliefs but also they like fighting and violence are a huge part of what they do so she kind of falls in with these people and then starts to unravel um, why they believe the things they do she asks a lot of questions there's a lot of different power dynamics at play between her and a lot of the people uh, who are factions within the Dirt Circus League Without saying and spoiling too much of this book, I, I did enjoy it. It was very different to what I would usually read. I guess it was the the mishmashed content of the book. Like it was, there were parts of it that were um, almost dystopian, but then it was very Australiana because of the descriptions of, you know, the landscape and stuff. And then it was also a little bit almost fantasy because there were spiritual elements that were quite fantastical and so it was just like a strange I don't know pot melting pot of all of these um, different genres but kind of that's why I liked it because it was so different to anything that I had read before uh, so if that sounds interesting to you pick up Dirt Circus League by Marie Kimberley. Uh, the next one that I read which was also sent to me by text publishing was Social Cue by Kay Kerr. So this is also a new one that's just been published. Thank you Text Publishing for sending this to me. So another young adult novel, uh, I would call this a romantic comedy just because of the familiarity of that genre. The main character Zoe has autism and she's just started her first internship at a place called Bubble, which in my mind is like a Buzzfeed type of blogging startup-ish sort of vibe place. Uh, also set in Australia by the way. 
um, and she is submitting pieces as part of her internship and uh, starts to write about her experiences of dating, um, having autism and missing signs that people were into her because I guess that's quite a, a subtle thing when people are flirting with you or like, you know, dropping subtle hints that, you know, I'm into you and like maybe we should go out. But uh, Zoe just missed all of that stuff. And once people started getting in contact with her and saying like, you know, I used to have a crush on you and you rejected me or, or whatever the situation may be, uh, she starts to go on dates with these people who have gotten in contact with her uh, and each of them are very different. Uh, some of these people, it does not go well. She's basically writing an article for each person that she goes on a date with and sometimes it goes very badly uh, and sometimes it goes really well and she starts to, um, I guess, explore dating in a different way and uh, overall I was just really, I guess, happy <laughs> to read this book. It was, it was really light and heartwarming and funny and I actually also learned quite a bit about autism. So Kay Kerr is uh, autistic so this is a, an own voices book. So getting to read that from the perspective of an autistic young woman was fantastic. Uh, so things like um, masking I knew the concept of but other things like scripting I had not heard of before so it was really nice to read that and, and I learnt stuff as well. So this was a really fun fun little book and highly recommend to those who are looking for something I don't know that just makes you feel good I guess. Uh, yeah so that's Social Cue by Kay Kerr. And last up for September and like I think one day of October I read Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. But this was actually a really fascinating book. It's based on a true story of Agnes Magnus' daughter who was the last person to be executed by hanging in Iceland in 1829. She was uh, condemned to death for her part in the murder of two men and uh, the book takes place from both Agnes's point of view and also the point of view of the priest who is assigned to give her her last rites and spiritual um, journey I guess before her death and the family members with whom she's staying because she is a, in a prison, she's taken from the prison and given to a family of farmers and uh, she's to live out her final months uh, working on the farm uh, which they at first are very unhappy about to, to have a convicted murderer living with them but over time Agnes starts to tell her story from to the priest and everyone starts to kind of listen in and they start to realize that this is not a your everyday person being you know convicted of murdering people something else happened here and it's uh brutal at times but beautifully written it was nice to read uh, a, a more like historical fiction literary book like that it did take me a little while to get out of the you know like light fluffy YA headspace into something so serious like this uh, like people it was yeah there were parts that are quite intense and there were some parts of it that I was like this is dragging on a little bit and then other parts where I was kind of like they're really trying to wrap this up <laughs> in the last like 50 pages so I think the pacing for me was a little bit odd but overall I, I enjoyed Burial Rites. It, I, it probably wasn't my favourite book that I've read in the last month. I think probably Social Cue was probably my favourite book out of these that I read last month in the last month just because I mean the the story itself and the characters were fantastic. Uh, all of the characters were really well-rounded, the story and plot was really great and the technically speaking the the voice of the writer was really clear and the characters were funny and you know I, I learned stuff I thought this was fantastic from start to finish but yeah I guess those are Ugh. those are
those are all of the books that I read in September. We'll see what October brings. I hope you're all having happy reading months and reading good, you know, five star books. And uh, I guess that's about it. So I'll see you all next time. Bye.